pick and fade out to me. Bro, I'm telling you, I know Trey... That was slightly early. But I know Trey Burks is released. It's proven right there. Oh, I hit that. I don't know about that shot timing thing because I did not time that shot good at all. It probably went in because it was wide open. I might need to turn that up slightly because I did not time that shot good. I'm going to spin right to the... What was that? What was that? Oh, my God, dude. I, I hate 2K, dude. I actually do. To be brutally honest. What was that? What was that? Oh, why am I so slow? No, 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 no. Why was I slow, so slow there? I know what my speed is. My speed is a 99 and I could not keep up with Zach Levine. It, th that should be a green. The shot timing makes no sense. I can hit late shots, but you're telling me that wasn't green? You're telling me that wasn't green? Nah, I'm switching that slider right now. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. I'm not playing 2K anymore. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this NBA 2K23, my NBA career. And we're going to be hopping into game one of Cedric Lewis's NBA career. And I told you if the Hornets do not sign a power forward, I was going to. So I signed Kevin Love out of free agency to be our starting power forward. And I moved Zeke Naji to a backup power forward so we could have a backup power forward. Well, so, because Nick Richards would be our backup center and Mark Williams would be our starting center. Uh, so everything's automated. The coach sets the rotations. So this is what the rotation looks like. They have LaMelo Ball getting 38 minutes. And they have Cedric Lewis getting 36 minutes. Gordon Hayward getting 28. Kevin Love getting 78. Not 78. <laughs> 28. And Mark Williams getting 27. Rozier, I didn't move to a point guard. So we can run the offense off the bench. And yeah, that's basically about it. That This is the team. We're lucky if we get the sixth seed. But I expect this team to be a play-in. We are going to be playing, if you don't know how this works, I'm going to use a program called Synergy 2K to upgrade Cedric Lewis. And, and actually, I should probably, I, I think I figured out how. I'm going to lower his um potential down to like an 80 probably. So he doesn't actually progress. So I can progress him through myself. But each season, we are going to play seven games, one game a month. I haven't set it up in Century 2K, so we're not going to be using it this episode. Next episode, we'll do my upgrades to start the video. But for my first game, we're going to start off against Chicago Bulls. Then we'll do a game in November, December. You get it. And another thing is, I it's my save. It's my league, so I'm going to do things my way. So there are some players around the league who are not as good anymore. I decided to make a little bit better. One being Duncan Robinson, because the heat in this on their roster is not great. I decided to boost up Duncan Robinson a little bit. And I have some other players around the league, um, some former MVPs who are not MVPs anymore, wink, wink, uh, that are going to be boosted a little bit. Not like crazy amounts, like a few overalls, or I'll change some of their stats a little bit to make them better, just to make it a little bit more fun. And I'm going to see if I can find a way. I don't think it's possible to have LeBron not retire. I don't think it's possible because 2K always has him retire after the season for some reason. It's so stupid. But without further ado, the sliders I am using are... Um, the top rated sliders for realistic. So this is what the CPU sliders look like. It's the top rated ones on uh, PS5 on PlayStation for most realistic. And this is what the user sliders look like. So we'll, we'll try these to start off. See how that works. And if I don't like them, I'll put Hall of Fame and adjust them myself. So let's hop into this game and see if we can get our first NBA win. Live from the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. The Charlotte Hornets and the Chicago Bulls one-on-one. -on -one. The Ball Brothers going up against each other. How did I just notice that? Ball Brothers going 1v1. LaMelo versus Lonzo. Cedric Lewis's debut. The Hornets looking to bounce back. They got their number one overall pick in the starting lineup. Didn't use it on Victor Wembanyama, which is probably the biggest surprise. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be an interesting duo. Can the Hornets make the playoffs for the first time? Since 2015-16, where they lost in the first round to my Miami Heat. We are going to find out, Allie. I don't give an F what you got to say. Mark Williams has a huge advantage at the center going up against Derek. Was it Lively? Livers? I don't know. I already forgot his name. It's Livers. Uh, DeMar DeRozan on Gordon Hayward straight away gets straight to the basket for an early bucket. Uh, I don't have the play set up like to show on the court. So I'm just going to do this and set the screens. Uh, Kevin Love, all right, you don't want a screen. You don't want a screen from me at least. Okay, Love, just give it to me. I don't know what your plan is. Come set a fade. Pick and fade. 
Cedric Lewis, first NBA action. Kick it back. Kevin Love, you have over the mat. And it missed. Mark Williams has two early blocks in this game. I'm not a three-point shooter. I don't know why I had that animation. I can hit him if I know my release. LaMelo Ball bricks the hell out of it. Mark Williams with it. I have a good post game, though, if they let me do a post fade and not spin into eight different Bulls players. I know there's not eight players on the court. Shut up. But, like, I wanted to post fade. Lonzo from downtown. Late timing, and it still went in. I guess that's that shot timing impact that doesn't matter. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Gordon Hayward, let me set the screen for you. Pick and fade. Out to me. Bro, I'm telling you, I know Trey... That was slightly early. But I know Trey Burks is released. It's proven right there. Definitely shouldn't have been slightly early, but that's probably due to my rating only being a 70. I am off to a slow start, though, on my NBA debut. I tell you that much. And I just picked up my second foul. And it, I'm getting subbed out. Transition take foul. This is not easy with the... How am I cold off of that? Really? You're, you're going to say I'm cold off of a foul? That don't make much sense. I know I'm struggling, but I shouldn't be cold. And we're down by 14. Oh, I hit that. I don't know about that shot timing thing because I did not time that shot good at all. It probably went in because it was wide open. I might need to turn that up slightly because I did not time that shot good. I'm on the fast break in the corner. Gordon, give it to me. I'm going to spin right to the... What was that? What was that? Oh, my God, dude. I I hate 2K, dude. I actually do. What was that animation? I double-tapped square to spin. Not... And then that happens. I forgot how ass this game was. I really... I don't know how I forgot. I mean, it's up, Dal. Uh, this has been a disaster. To be honest with you. This, I can't get any shots to go. Even, I'm timing them. We can somehow cut it to 10. I'm timing them well, too, and they just not falling. So I definitely got to make changes to these sliders. We start with the ball here in the second half. Lamelo, let me set you a screen. See? Please hit that, though. He bricked it. Awesome. Lamelo, don't go too ham. You have Mark Williams in the... Okay, no, we're not doing this. Mark Williams has Zach Levine on him. We are giving him the ball in the post. Because I got Derek, whatever his name is, on me, so I can cut. That we almost missed out on guaranteed points there because of 2K. Take it back. Oh, I didn't think Patrick Williams would not. I thought he'd guard up on me. To be brutally honest, what was that? What was that? Oh, why am I so slow? No, 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 no. Why was I slow? So slow there. I know what my speed is. I know my speed is like a 95. Where is it? Where's speed? Did I pass it? My speed is a 99, and I could not keep up with Zach Levine, who I know damn well doesn't have 99 speed. This is what I'm talking about with this game, bro. It literally will screw you over any way it can. Any way it can, it will find a way to screw you over and make sure you don't win. You're back to me. Mark, what were you doing, bro? He he was all over me. So, it th that should be a green. The shot timing makes no sense. I can hit late shots, but you're telling me that wasn't green? You're telling me that wasn't green? Nah, I'm switching that slider right now. Where is it? I'm switching that slider now. Shot timing impact, it's just a random chance then. I'm switching it to 25 for both. Because it doesn't, doesn't mean anything then. The shot timing means nothing then. That's not happening, dude. I don't know why that was set. I know why it was set to zero. Because of how many times the CPU will hit will get a late release on your team it doesn't make sense but when i have an obvious green like that and it doesn't go in we have issues like it needs to be changed it needs to be changed there's nope not a smart decision this man mark williams just picked up his fourth foul you gotta be kidding me bro why are you fouling so much yeah that's it i'm done i'm not playing 2k anymore 